Hey, hey, welcome back to another legacy video. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna to continue the demonstration of producing this base cabinet box, specifically the doors, the drawer fronts, and the drawer box itself. Now we'll kick things off by quickly going through the flow process of the CAD CAM software. We'll then go to the CNC and cut out these parts, and we'll finish by assembling and mounting these components to the base cabinet box. Let's start with understanding how the door and drawer fronts were produced and to make them look like a five piece panel door. Here you can see we're using router bit shaped profiles. The plunge flat round over cutter in combination with the large core box cutter gives us this very classical design cross section. We were then able to take these cutter shaped profiles and apply them to our door and drawer fronts. And we can do this for any shape and size. There is one limitation though, when it comes to the corners, it will leave radiuses in there. So as an additional step, we applied a carving tool path to the corners to cut the exact shape as the router bit profiles. Now let's jump to the machine and show how these cuts really take place. The first cutter used is a plunge flat roundover with a quarter inch radius. This cutter machines the inner radius and the flat bottom profile to the raised panel look. We also had the same cutter machine a radius around the entire perimeter of the door. The second tool is a large 1.5 inch diameter core box. This tool machines a concave radius on the inner edge to complete this raised panel look. The third tool, a tapered ball nose end mill, is used to clean up the corners so that we can complete the look as if it was a five piece panel door. The fourth and final tool is a half inch straight cutter and is used to cut out the door. This entire process is also repeated for the drawer panel. Now watch how easy it is to put all these components together for the base cabinet. First, we assembled the drawer box. Then mounted the door. Then mounted the drawer box. And finally, the drawer front. Well, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to watch out for a follow-up video where we'll demonstrate how to produce custom textured panel doors. It's gonna be awesome. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about legacy CNC machines, here's two resources. Just click right over here to go to our website, or you can watch the video right down there on a walk around for the Maverick 4x8. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and check mark the little bell icon to receive email notifications whenever new videos are released. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.